so now we'll move on to the fra so fra forward rate arrangements are an application of the forward contract to interest rate FRA is a forward contract that fixes interest rate now for a future short term lending, investing or borrowing transaction. So an FRA is essentially a forward contract where the underlying is the interest rate. Okay? So the underlying interest rate is a very important concept here. If the actual interest rate at the date proves to be higher than the rate in the FRA, the bank pays the company the difference. So a company has, has bought an FRA okay, FRA of 10% interest from a bank from a bank okay and this is for three months time for three months duration. So what would happen here? See the FRA is essentially 10 percent on the actual interest rate and the interest rate at three months time what happens is it has come to 15 percent then it means that the bank has to take care of the five percent that is the bank has to pay five percent to the company that means the effective interest the effective interest for the company would be 10 percent we will put it like this, the company has made a bet, the bet is the interest rate will be like going up, so they feel that the FRA is 10%, but the interest rate in the third, 3 months time has actually gone up, so it means that they have made a profit, how much profit, the profit is 5%, so the 5% will move from the bank to the company, so effectively if the company is going to borrow a loan, it does not need to pay 15%, it pays 15% as a loan and it got the 5% benefit from the bank. So the effective interest rate is only 10%. We will also look at the other case. For example, in another contract, the company has entered into a 10% FRA, it has bought, but the actual interest at the three, three month time is only 7%. Okay. So they have made a bet that the interest rate will go up, but it has actually gone down. So what happens here is they have made a loss and that loss is a profit for the bank okay that is a profit for the bank the company has to now pay if the company now borrows they have to pay seven percent as interest they have to pay three percent as a loss to the bank put together you get the same ten percent okay so however you work the interest rate will be the same so whatever the fra that has been fixed that will be the effective interest rate here so that is what is being explained here. If the actual interest rate at the date proves to be higher than the rate in the FRA, the bank will pay the difference. So that's what we saw just now. If the actual interest rate is lower than the FRA, the company pays the bank the difference. So that is what the arrangement is. If the interest rate goes up, the bank will pay the difference. If the interest rate falls, the company has to pay the difference. An advantage of FRA is that for the period of the FRA at least, they protect the borrower from adverse market interest rate movements to levels above the rate negotiated, negotiated for the FRA. That means the rate that you have fixed in the FRA is what you essentially pay as an effective interest. So once you have taken an FRA, it is like booking in advance what is the interest that you want to pay. If you buy a 10% FRA, then it means your effective interest rate is 10 percent if you buy a fra for 12 percent your effective interest rate is 12 percent so that is about the fra contracts so we'll see the fra payoffs the bet is made on the interest rate not the bond price the long position in an fra is the party that has already borrowed the money or is about to borrow the money so we say that you buy an FRA when you feel the interest rate is going to go up. Okay, if you are a long position, it means you have buying the you are buying the FRA. It means you are betting that interest rate will go up. That is your concept. So when the prof, 
so you make a profit when interest rises and you make a loss when the interest falls what is the short position in the short position you sell the fra you sell the fra that is in effect you bet that the interest will go down okay how do you do that for example uh, you have you have deposited in a fd so the fd interest rate is 10% you feel the interest will fall and it will come to something like 8% you want to save this okay you want to save uh, the fall the 2% fall so what you do is you do enter into an fra and the, the fra is at 10% so if you are making you are selling the 10% that means you are going to receive this 10% and if the interest rate goes down by 8% that is what you are buying so this is the selling and this is the buying if you net it out you get 2% interest through the fra so you are essentially you have sold it first and you are buying it later you have sold it at 10 you are buying at 8 okay so you have made a profit of 2% so the actual interest rate is how much now the actual interest rate has fallen so the fd will give you 8% but the fra profit is 2% so put together you have got the 10% interest so that is your effective interest okay so we'll repeat it again the short position is used by a investor the short position is used by the investor the investor feels the f the interest rate is going to go down so what he does is he sells an fra at a higher interest rate that is 10 percent and he feels the interest rate will go down so he buys at a lower interest rate he makes a profit of two percent the actual FD deposit has also gone to the market interest rate of 8%. So he has made a loss in the FD. So his interest rate has only become 8%. But he has made a profit in the FRA. So that is 2%. And totally, he now will get 10% as his interest income. So in the short position, if the profit if the interest falls if the interest falls just like our example the company will make a profit but if interest rises then the company will make a loss so that's about the payoff in fra so fras are arranged with the bank as an otc transaction an fra is not an arrangement to lend or borrow that is not the concept FRA is an agreement or a bet made on the interest rate. It is an agreement that fixes an interest rate on a notional amount of principal. So what is a notional amount? There is no like uh, transfer of uh, loan amount or investment amount. Only the bet is made on the interest rate. And any gain made on the movement of the interest rate is like paid. One limitation of FRA is that they are usually available on loan of at least 500,000 pounds. They are also likely to be difficult to obtain for periods of more than one year. So, FRAs are essentially a, uh, a medium term instrument. So, we will see the terminologies involved in FRA. If they give you a parity like 5.75 to 5.7, it means that you can borrow at 5.75 and you can invest at 5.7 so you always if you want to borrow the borrowing rate is higher than the investing rate this is the same parity that also happens in a bank deposit bank deposit and borrowing if you go to a bank the fd will be six percent but if you want a loan that will be 12 percent so always the borrowing cost will always be higher than the investing income so they also say that a 3-6 forward, a 3-6 FRA, a 3-6 FRA is an agreement that fixes an interest rate for a period starting in 3 months time and lasting for 3 months time at the end of 6 months. So we will see an example for this. Similarly, a 3-12 FRA fixes the interest rate for a 9 month period starting from the 3rd month. See the first number. For example, we say 312 FRA. Here it refers the contract will start in the third month. Okay. 
So assume the year is in January. In 1st April, the contract will start. Okay. And the total period of FRA, the total period of FRA, it is a 12 month FRA. That means it starts in April and it runs for a period from the 1st Jan. It runs for 12 month period. That is, it ends in 31st December. Okay. So essentially, it is only a 9 month contract. It is essentially a 9 month contract. Okay. So we will also do for this 3 6 forward. If you take a 3 6 for forward, it means if it's going to be January 1st, January today, uh, the contract is going to start in the third month and it will run from the third month to the sixth month. So that is what the FRA means. So the contract will start on the third month, means like January, February, March is over. So it will start in 1st April. And from April, April, May, June. So up to 30th June, the contract will run. So essentially, this is for a period of three months only. Okay. So you can just, so the first number indicates the starting of the FRA period. Okay. And the ending number tells the month in which the FRA gets over. So we'll have a quiz now. A company treasurer needs to borrow 10 million euro for 180 days, 60 days from now. The type of FRA and the position he should take to hedge the interest rate risk on this transaction. So the company wants to borrow a 10 million euro. That means it is a long, they are trying to go for a long position. Okay. And the loan is going to start in 60 days. It means uh, in two months time it's going to start. And it's going to run and uh, the loan is for a period of six months. So the entire FRA is for six months. Okay. So from the first month into the eighth month, the FRA would be the life. It starts in second month. It will run up to the eighth month. It is a six months of duration of FRA. So two bar two into eight long position is what? The answer is, the answer should be B. You can reach me at my website, wowacademics.com or you can also see my Quora answers. I am active in LinkedIn and in Facebook page. So you can visit at these places. If you just type Sham Prasad and Wow Academics, you will get all these uh, links in Google search itself. And if you like this video, give a like share to your friends and if you feel that any points we have missed in this video you can post it we will try to uh, give an answer to you in the comment section itself or we'll also create another video for you so thank you for watching our video